Adding comments to your code helps explain to other people reading your code what you have written in code and why you've written it a certain way. It can be really useful for teachers who want to explain activities to their students and it can act as a memory aid if you want to edit your code at a later date. Good comments clearly describe what's happening in the code and sometimes why the code is included. This video describes how to add comments in the Make Code Editor. So to add a project level comment to the editor, I'm going to right click and add comment and then I'm going to type in what my program is going to do. So this is a microbit dice. Shake the dice to roll a number. So I'm also going to add a comment to a block. So I'm going to say to this block, um, expand the comment here. Pick a random number between 1 and 6 and show it on the display. So I have a project level comment or workspace comment and a block or line level comment and the block comment is attached to the piece of code. So I can hide these by clicking on the button and I can show them. So if I share the make code URL, the status of the comments will follow. So I can hide them or show them when I share them with students. But I don't want to do that. I want to keep them visible. So I'm just going to show you how they look in text in JavaScript. If I just switch to JavaScript and if I hide the simulator so you can see the text on the screen, uh, you can see that the project level comments are encapsulated in the asterisks. So I can keep typing within these lines. So for example, let's say the number will show on the display. And that is a multi-line comment attached to the top of my program. Uh, I'm just going to add a space in here, a line break between the comment and the code, just for formatting. Whereas here you can see I've got a line level comment. So if I were to type on this line and say comment here, for example, uh, you can see make code starts throwing an error because it thinks it's uh, code. So I need to comment that line out and then the errors go away and it thinks it's a comment again. So that's the, the difference between a project level comment or multi-line comment and a, a line level comment. Uh, and another thing to watch out for is that the line level comments should be indented at the same level of the code that it's trying to describe. So show a number on the screen, the, the comment should be in line with that. So tab or press space to make sure the comment is at the same level. And the same if I switch to make code Python. Here in MakeCode Python, you can see that the project level comments are encapsulated in these speech marks. And line level comments have a hash or pound symbol in front of them. And again, I can comment at the workspace level and that will show up as a comment. But if I try to comment on a line, again, you can see the MakeCode starts throwing errors. And I'll have to comment that out with a hash. So then I can switch back to blocks and I can see that although the comments are hidden, I can unhide them and move them around as I want. And that is a brief intro into commenting your code in MakeCode.